What's up guys, Barry here with another machine tutorial and in today's video I'm going to show you exactly how to create and save your presets throughout the different levels of the machine software. So whether you just want to save a single instrument or create a project template, I got you in this video. So let's start things off on an instrument level. Let's open up an instance of machine's internal sampler. So for me, something I always do is I change the polyphony from 8 to 1. And more recently, I've been changing the engine from standard to MP60. I've also been playing around with the effects and filter page. So I've been adding some drive, adjusting the sample rate and the bit rate. So let's just change a couple of these parameters and create a sampler preset for this video. Okay, cool. So we're happy with our tweaked parameters. You're going to go to your sampler, right click, and you're going to just go ahead and save. So I'll save this Berry sampler. All right, so you'll know that it's saved because on the right, you'll see the name of the preset that you just saved. So to recall the preset, you're going to hit the magnifying glass to open up your browser. You want to make sure you're in the user library and in the all instruments folder. Now you just double click to open up your new sampler preset. All right, so that's cool, but we don't want to go through the browser window all the time. We want to recall that preset. So let's save it as a default. So we're going to right click again. This time we're going to save as default. As far as the naming goes, you can save it to whatever you'd like. In this case, we'll just write default to the end of the current name. So now with that step done, every time we open up the sampler instance, our Barry sampler default will open as well. Okay, cool. So we've created and saved our preset. We've opened it up through the browser menu as well as through the plugin menu. Now what happens if we just want to drag in some samples into machine? All right, nice. So dragging in a sample, whether it be through the browser or even your desktop, will open up a sampler with the parameters that you had saved. All right, so let's do that one more time, but this time with an effect. So we'll open up an EQ and once again, mess around with some of the parameters. So the process of saving your effect is the same process as saving your instrument. Just right click your plugin, hit save and name it accordingly. So the only difference here is the path as to where it was saved. So instead of it being saved in the All Instruments folder, it's now in the All Effects folder within your user library. All right, so now we know how to save on an instrument level and an effect level. But let's say you really like how that sampler and EQ work together. So we can save that chain of plugins together on a sound level. So instead of right-clicking your individual instruments or plugins, this time you're going to right-click your pad. And you'll notice on the top of the window, it says save sound instead of previously saying save preset. To open it up, again, we'll go to our browser. We have to make sure that we're in our user folder again, but instead of accessing our effects or our instruments, this time we're going to go to all sounds. And just double click and there we go. Our sampler and our EQ opens up together as a sound. By the way, guys, you're not only limited to saving machine or native instrument plugins. You can use any third party plugins that you like as long as you're saving them. And more importantly, as long as you know the destination as to where they were saved, you can recall them accordingly. All right, guys, so that is how you create, save and recall your instruments, effects and your sounds and machine. And if this video is bringing value to you, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. All right, so now let's move on to working on a group level. So if you find yourself loading in the same plugins, the same effects, the same instruments on all of your groups, my suggestion is to make some group templates. So let's do just that. So we'll load up an EQ, a reverb, and maybe a compressor to finish off our group chain. Now, instead of saving on an instrument or an effect level, or a sound level, we have to save this as a group. So where it says group, in this case group B1, you're going to right click and of course hit save. 
So a signifier that shows that it's saved is the group name changed. And in order to recall that, we're now going to go to the all group folder inside of the user library. So again, let's take it up a level and we'll load up some sounds. So we'll just load up a drum synth, some kicks, some snares, some hi-hats, and maybe a sampler. And then we can save that so that our group now has not only effects on a group level, but also some sounds to play with uh, so that we can recall whenever we want. So if we hit just save, we're gonna override our previous blank group. So we're gonna select save as and label it something different. So just something to keep in mind guys, that all the instruments, effects, sounds that are in that one group now belongs to that one group. So you can't save them separate from each other on the group level. If you want to do so, you can go ahead and duplicate the group and delete the things that you don't want and save accordingly. Uh, just keep that in mind because it is something that you need to work around. So if you're asking how to save a master chain in machine, unfortunately, the way that the folders are laid out after a group, it goes straight to project. So a workaround, if you really want to save a master chain, is to just create a project template, which at the end of the day, we all should have. So we'll open up my project template. So this here, guys, is my project template. Nothing too crazy, nothing too elaborate. I just have some basic sends, some basic sounds, and just the essential things that I use that I know I always use when I want to start creating a beat. So to go back to that question of how to save a master chain, this is how you do it. You just have to save it on a project level. So let me show you how to set it up so that your template opens up every time you start a new project. For example's sake, I'll just open up a couple of groups so that we can differentiate the two different templates. So obviously you're gonna save it. So this is the key thing here. You're gonna go to the machine preferences, down to the default tab. Next to the standalone template, you're gonna press that folder and you just go ahead and select the project name or the template name that you created. Close that and now Every time that you start a new machine project, your template will then open. All right, guys, so that is how you create, save, and recall your presets and templates inside of the machine software. If this video brought value to you, please hit that thumbs up button. Down in the comments, please let me know if there's any topics you want me to cover in future videos. And of course, subscribe.